We just called Hail Mary. Uh, we've worked on it last fall. We haven't ran it yet this spring. Uh, they only brought three guys, so we knew we had to buy some time. And we uh, max protect, so we had three guys in the end zone. And uh, just bought time and threw it up. And we had Lawrence, six seven, and Javis and another starter down there. And hope they made a play. And those don't happen very often. It was a lot of fun. How fun of a way is that to end spring practice, heading into the off season? I don't, I don't know if you can end it any funner than that. Uh, uh, they had a their touchdown at the end. I knew they thought it was over, and we had 70 yards in 25 seconds, and didn't look very good. But we knew we had to just get it to about the 45, and then just have a chance at Hail Mary, and it worked out. Jacobs, I believe the other day you talked about how you missed the game last year. Um, were you excited to get out there and, and play with the guys in the, in the spring game? Um, yes, I was very excited. Like, I got up early this morning. I sucked in some Epsom salt. I came up here. I got in the cold tub. I was making sure my body was prepared at, for the best, like at its best, so I can have the best opportunity to win, for us to win. And like I told you in the interview, I gave you by touchdown. And that's exactly what happened, but probably a little less. But I told you our prediction, and we got what we got. We got the win that we needed. Did Dave, what time did you get up in the morning to, to come down here to, to soak? Um, I think we had to be here 11. I came like two and a half hours earlier just to get my mind right, just to make sure that I wasn't rushing anything. I was stretched good. And that's my daily routine. I stretch, I get in the cold tub, I take shower just to freshen my body and just prepare myself mentally and physically to be ready to play to my best of my ability. Hey, describe the play and how it came about and the way you saw it. Well, actually, the, um, the coach called Trips Hail Mary. And like Connor said, we haven't worked on that since last fall. So me and Ron Gary, he was the receiver as far as the inside. We was trying to debate if we're going to go behind the defense or stay in front of the defense. And I just told him that I was going to go be the deepest person just in case anything happens. And that's exactly what happened. Everybody, like defense does, instead of them swatting me down, they want to make a play at the end of the game. And I let them jump, and the hit went over hand. And I just concentrated, caught the ball like at the one or two yard line, and just backed up into the end zone. Has anything ever happened for you before? Mm -hmm. Do you recall it on there like that? Oh, uh, no, this is the first time. Like, I caught a lot of um, game winning touchdowns in high school, but this is the first time in my college career. Chris, talk about being out there a little bit. I mean, it's been a while since you've been under live action except for practice. How'd you feel? I felt great out there. I felt like uh, I was glad to be back with the team, and I just feel like I had to, to sit now. I had to prove myself wrong and show the team that I still got it in the coaches. Connor, what was your objective coming into this spring? Um, I talked, uh, we have a meeting with Coach Schultz before every spring, and the uh, biggest thing I told him, Tyler's a starter, and he's got a started two years, and I told him I wanted to close the gap on him a little bit. Uh, have a good second team back up in case he gets hurt or something and just push Tyler to be the best he can and while improving my skills as well. And um, yeah. did you tell him which way you wanted him to you feel pretty pretty good at that? Uh, yeah, yeah. Um I had a I don't on and off spring, like Coach said, turnovers was the big thing this uh, this spring we focused on. I had Two today, one was a tipped off, and then one was all my fault. And you can't have those at this level. Uh, turnovers lead to losses, and uh, that's one thing I'm majorly improving on. But like Coach said, uh, my reads, much more com uh, confident with those. Uh, I feel like I can run the offense well, and um, it's a, it was a lot easier this spring than last spring. Hey, for all three of you guys, after what happened at the end of last year with the winning record still not making a hole, how much did that really kind of fuel you to try and get ready for the season and, and to make a bowl trip? Uh, uh, I'll start it. Um, I, I didn't play last year. I traveled with the team. I was a backup. But um, I know everyone was devastated when we didn't get a bowl. Uh, we, we all thought after the Arkansas State game we were going to make it, and um, it, they didn't fall our way. And I know – it's definitely motivating the team this year. And you can see that through off-season workouts. Yeah, um, just to recap what he said, yeah, it's really motivating for the fact that we were 75. We was always told that you get that seven win, you automatically guarantee ball game. And that's what we always thought, even though we could have got the eight win, but the situation with South Alabama, the last play of the game that we didn't all complete. Then to be honest, like it fueled, it fueled me a lot for the fact that I didn't even watch no ball game at all. I just watched it on national championship because I knew that I felt like that we should have been there over the teams in the Sun Belt. 
And I feel like um, we took greater strides and improvement and from last year, the year before being 66 to this year being 75. So now we know what we have to get on um, this upcoming season to get in the ball game. That's that eight win. And that's basically every day we go to practice, we go with that mindset and we have a motto saying leave no doubt. And that's our motto. And basically every play, we play hard like Coach Payne, play hard to the, to the next play. Leave the play that you had behind, even if it was good, bad, you just focus on the next play. Uh, I feel like it was heartbreaking that we didn't make it, but uh, our team, I was like, Coach Fran said, it's always one play. And then if we, we made that one play in that one game, we would have made it to a bowl game. But we didn't make it, but we still we still got to fight harder and come back even stronger to uh, prove a point that we can we can do it and do whatever it takes to make it to a bowl game. Yeah, you leave a chip on your shoulder how I see the biggest touch. Um, I don't like using that term, but yes, I do. I actually do because I feel like, to be honest, we don't get the credit that we actually deserve. And like Coach Fran said, like nothing is given to us. We have to fight for everything that we earn. And I, I still live that to this day. Even in high school, we have to fight for our respect and everything. Like I've always been in a situation where I've always been an underdog. I've never been on top. Like, I've never been on top at all, and I, I guess I just got used to it, and I like that because people underestimate us, which give us better opportunities, give us more motivation to play harder because I, in reality, I like being an underdog. So when we win, people are like, oh, they won, but as a team, we know what we can do, and we know what we expect to do. We expect to win. Everybody else, oh, they might win, but we already expect them to win no matter what. Did that last play have any name called to it? Uh, in the season, it's right trip, Hail Mary. Can I say that? I said, I uh, and then we, we called it, it's a uh, right trip, brown protection, uh, uh, Vicky. So Vicky's all verts, but we changed it a little bit telling them to get in the end zone, and they knew what to do. Has it ever worked for you ever before uh, in your career? I've had two Hail Marys before, and they pretty sure both got picked. And so, yeah, that was first time. Some people might say it's just a spring game, but judging by the celebration after it, it, it meant something to you guys to be able to win this game. It's a competition. We had crap talk for once the teams are announced, you talk crap for two days and everyone's fired up about it. And yeah, you could tell by the end, you don't think they care that much, but yeah, at the end, it was a lot of excitement. Yeah, but at the end of the day, we still all the same, yeah. same team. We love each other. We're coming back. To, we'll come back together tomorrow or Monday. How hard do you think? Uh, Summer workouts are going to be considering uh, you guys are going down to Tallahassee and probably going to be hearing about the chop and y'all wanting to stop the chop and tomahawk and spears and all that stuff. Well, honestly, last sum summer was pretty tough. I mean, Coach Cundiff has a great program. and We work hard every day, and last summer kicked all our butts, and I'm sure we'll step it up again. But, yeah, we're trying to get to that next level, and we're excited for the summer when we get back and get rolling. How excited are you guys about that trip to Tallahassee for that game coming up to start senior year? Yeah. Well, you know, I started off like I'm very excited for the fact that we get to play in front of a crowd that we never played in front of before, and it's gonna be a good experience. Everybody in here wish probably wish they can play in an um, environment like that. I know those that was not blessed with the opportunity that we have. I know they probably watch TV and wish they could play in the same atmosphere. And I just look at it as a blessing because give us an opportunity to see where we at. And also, if any um, upset or anything happened, you know, that's national attention for us.